Family and friends trooped out to celebrate Elaji Mohammed Ajibola Olagbaye with a book launch in honor of the octogenarian in Lagos. The book titled The Rare Bird was written in commemoration of Elaji Olagbaye's 80th birthday. The event attracted VIPs, royal highnesses, sons and daughters of Awori Kingdom and a host of others. A correspondent, Paul Judge, reports. From all walks of life, they gathered to celebrate Al-Haji Muhammad Olagbaye at 80. The elder statesman, a retired civil servant, served as the former head of service and permanent secretary in Lagos State. A friend and colleague of Al-Haji Olagbaye, Franklin Adejumo, was the chairman of the occasion. He shared his experience with the celebrant while he was in active service. Olagbaye was one of the best I've ever worked with in my life. He always worked without looking back, without eating. He was with me throughout. Anytime I needed him, he was there. He was second to the permanent secretary. And that was his SAP, commanding the finance and the structure of the ministry. I'm very proud of him. And I want you all to help me thank him. The octogenarian relished the moment as he gave thanks to God Almighty for keeping him alive. He said there is nothing like prayer and fasting. It is only the favor of Almighty God. Those who know a little about me will tell you that I have a father who is a Muslim cleric. He is a chief imam of Igbeza. At every occasion that they gather to offer prayers, at the last count of the sitting, he will say, please, don't go yet. Have this amount. It will be thorough. It will be kobo. It will be shile It will be sisi. Pray for Muhammad Bushra, for God to give him his blessings. Al Barika, the Baba mentor of me at the Kikiri, throughout my school age, throughout my service in particular in Lagos State Government, it has been the lost dream. The high point of the event was the unveiling of the book, which captured the celebrant as a rare bird. The author of the book had this to say. The only way to describe him is, is to say is a, is a rare bird, as suggested by the title. In all ramifications, uh, Olagbaye is in his own world, in his own class. I'm in the business of writing about deserving Nigerians. And I think that, uh, well, <clears throat> it's not a money bag. It's not, it's not holding any political office. He's turning it to someone like that. His life needs to be documented for posterity. More encomiums came from the Royal Highnesses, Oloja Ekun of Igbesa Land, Oba Abdulaziz Akinde, Olu of Ilukogun Araromi of Igbesa Kingdom, Oba Jimo, Ikugbamola, and from others. He's a true son of Igbesa. So why we have a gap between uh, the late Oloja Ekun, for almost about 10, 11 years. By virtue of his name, is demonstrated that he's actually a Shiwaju of Igbesa land. I'm happy for him that he's been able to achieve this landmark 80th birthday and trying to document all his life, his experiences, which is going to be a good uh, ingredient for those of us who are looking up to him. He loves everyone. He's, 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 you love us to everybody, honesty, straightforward. The person that is in post, in high post, and he wants others to be in high post. May God help him and everybody. He's a man to be honored for what he did and what he meant to the service of Lagos State and to our worry land. Wish him the very best. 
Heaven's very best of blessings. The Olagbayis, Oluwa Tobi, Temitokwe, Olajide, and their mom could not hide their joy as they shared fond memories. I was a very stubborn child. But spanking me, I think throughout our, my growing up, he has only spanked me once. But he brings out the best in you. He talks, he doesn't condemn you. So if, we, if he scolds you now, you can talk to him the next minute. I don't like anything. Anything I wanted, once I ask him, I get it. So everybody's always surprised. I can't believe that that's stubborn. You still get away with all, all this kind of thing. My earliest memories of daddy are um, that of being spoiled silly with gifts. You know, I, I always tell people that my dad gets the best gift, you know, anytime he travels. I can be rest assured that whatever it is, is buying our, you know, quality, the best of the best kind of gift. He's a very, very generous person. He's down to earth and he's a very religious man. I don't think uh, any words can do um, justice. Um, no, no words can qualify how much my dad means to me, how much of an impact he has been uh, on my, in my life. Uh, since the first memories I have of anything, I've always had that um, father figure and I'm very happy he's 80 because, you know, um, he has been able to like impact loads of life, not just myself alone. Like um, in my tribute in the book, I wrote that like, my dad is a dad of all. I like Muhammad Ajibola Olagba is a lovable person. He's a man of the people. Is somebody that is selfless and a worry man to the core and a restless person. He's always ready to assist. To know him is to love him, is to like him. He's an amiable person and happy for him. Being 80 years on the land of the living is worth celebrating and I thank God on his behalf. I say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alami. I want him to live for a very, very long time. The rare bird, meaning an exceptional individual in 14 chapters and 211 page book, captures Alaji Muhammad Ajibola Alagbaye's assertive lifestyle, and one of which is the ability of the celebrant to stay away from food for a very long time. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.